Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So today we're going to talk balancing in Rainbow Six Siege as these two graphs were posted on Uplay apparently by mistake. Now they were posted alongside the patch notes and I expect that is how they will be released as the patch that is currently in the test era goes live. They'll post the full patch notes. They'll post these balancing graphs to give us an idea of why they're balancing out the operators that they currently are and probably give us a description of what they might change in the future if certain trends continue. But let's take a look at it now. Now, these balancing graphs can be uh, interpreted very badly, and I've probably done it plenty of times in my past because of the data and the way it is, but we're going to try our best in this video. So let's start by saying, right, this is ranked only, it's PC only, it's platinum and diamond, so that is the information we're getting from here. So no Pro League stuff, no gold level stuff. It's all ranked PC, Platinum and Diamond. So kind of high level play. Now let's go over, first of all, who's getting balance changed in this patch. So we've got Clash who's getting the buff. We're getting Kaid who's getting a tiny buff. We've got Rook and Doc who are getting a little nerf. And Cav who is kind of getting a, a nerf buff in... However you, however you look at it, it just depends on the range you're engaging at. So let's first of all get rid of Kaid there because his balance and change was just simply his ADS time with his SMG. So that's probably not going to affect where his position is in this graph. But Clash, look at her down there at minus 10. And of course the lowest pick rate alongside Chichanka. Minus 10, wow. Like literally taking her is making it more likely your team's going to lose which is just insane. It's like playing for the enemy. That is, that is mental. Of course, the tanker just above her there, but you know, watching you. Um, so the fact they're giving her a full auto SMG now, it obviously shows why, because she's absolutely horrible. To be worse than Chichanka is not good. So yeah, giving her a full auto gun now so that she can fight by herself if need be. I don't know how that'll play out. It's gonna be really curious. I think I will play her more, but I don't actually know if I'm going to win with her more, even with the full auto SMG. Then, at the very top, we've got Rook, who is kicking ass for win rate, but he's not getting picked that often. Now, if we just go and have a quick look at the attackers, what I see is, if we have a look at Ash, right, she's not winning that much, but she's getting picked over 70% of the time. And then if you look at Finca, you can see that she's got a really high win delta, but she's getting picked only like 6% of the time. Now, I think what we're looking at here is a dilution of the numbers. We've got 70% of players picking Ash, but most of them are crap with her. There's probably a small amount that are amazing with her, and that's why they're picking her. And like, I feel like just because she's getting picked so much, it dilutes the numbers. Now, I don't know if this is true. Uh, the devs might have a completely different impression of this. Because I think the Finca ones, like the people that are picking her, obviously are good with her. Like, there's only a few people picking her, but they're specialised. And I bet there's the same amount of specialised when it comes to Ash. Now, that's what I think is happening here with Rook. He's not getting picked that much, but the people that are picking him are good with him. You know, holding those extremely tight angles. Like, if you come up against Rook, you probably die in those tiny angles they pick. And they, they, you know, that's how they play. They sit in one place, watching one little area, and they do a good job with that Rook. Because, of course, this is Platinum and Diamond, right? They're not spawn camping. They are doing something inside the map, holding really tight angles. So, yeah, interesting. So, yeah, good win rate, but a low pick rate for Rook. But Doc, who's also getting this nerf to the MP5, you know, not actually doing that great. Getting picked more, but winning less. And again, I think this is diluting the numbers. I think there's probably really a lot of players who are just as good win rate as that Rook, but a lot of my people are taking Doc and probably just not playing them as well, not holding as many tight angles. So their win rate is a lot lower. So I can definitely see why they are nerfing the MP5. It's pretty obvious because Rook is flying high. Um, and he was doing good last time, as I remember. Now, Cav, it's interesting. It's interesting, indeed, because she's... Like, she's got a big nerf, a big change. But Legion 
is right over there. He didn't get any changes, and he's still doing really well. Good pick rate, good win rate. He looks like a good target for a little nerf. So he avoided that for the moment anyway. Uh, but it could be an idea, you know, that, that could be a future thing is still that Legion could get nerfed some more. So it looks like they decided to leave him alone for the moment. Now, Jaeger has got a big pick rate, but he's not winning too well. But I think he's probably doing he's probably doing good. A lot of people still think that they should bring back the ACOG for Jaeger, and I think from this graph, no, you know, he, he doesn't need it. He's still doing really well, so that's great. When it comes to the center, that's usually where operators will not be getting changed because they're usually pretty good. And we can see Mira's the closest, along with Vigil and Echo, which is quite interesting. Uh, Echo, of course, had his big buff with two drones and stuff like that, and that you know seems to have helped them in a way. Seems to be kind of in the center now. We've got Valk not doing too bad, Maestro not doing too bad, uh, Ella not doing too bad. We can see Mute, Pulse. Yeah, pretty good selection of operators in the center there. Uh, interestingly, they... They've been saying that like the trap operators go up and down the graph all the time, and uh, Frost is actually now right in the middle, which is interesting. Of course, Legion is still up there, so uh, he's doing good. It's a pity about Castle, and actually, while we're talking about the We Are operators, let's talk about reworks. So we know Castle will get a rework in, at some point. They've been testing a bunch of stuff, but they haven't figured out what to do yet. I'm not expecting one this season. I doubt. That's my thinking anyway. Uh, Chichanka is probably still a year away from a rework. Like, I don't think he's coming anytime soon. Um, and that's pretty much it for the defenders. There's not really any other standouts. Uh, Capcan and Frost are actually doing really well when it comes to their win rates. Like, that's not too bad. Maybe not getting picked that much, but still, you know, they're not at least losing really badly or winning really badly. At least they're in the middle. Um... Yeah, so let's take a look at the attackers. Now, the attackers are doing really, really well. There's a good collection right in the middle. This is impressive. Like, there's there's not anyone really down the bottom, which is usual for the attackers. There's not usually, like, anyone in the minuses, so uh, that's kind of normal for the attackers. We can see, obviously, the outliners being Finca with the high win rate. But like I say, that's probably a very specialized group of players that play that Finca and play her well. So I'm not too worried about her win rate there. I don't think they will go changing anything on her, but could be wrong. When it comes to Ash, I think we have too many people picking her, which must be diluting the numbers. Because like, how do you know? Like maybe there's some players who are absolutely, you know, destroying just like Finca. They may have a win rate of Finca, but the other, you know, bunch of players might be absolutely terrible with her. So I do think Ash needs a little balancing, but I don't think they're actually going to do anything to her at all. Because I think they still consider her a very fun operator to play. So I don't think they're going to actually make any drastic changes to Ash whatsoever. Now Twitch could be in for a little nerf. She is a little bit high. Both in the overpicked and the win rate. But not by much. Blackbeard is <laughs> amazing actually. Considering he's obviously nerfbeard. He's still doing pretty decent for win rate. You know second blooming operator right up there. That's not bad. Dockerby, Glass, and Monty kind of close to each other, but none of them really in any kind of danger, probably, of getting nerfed. The other operators in the middle, that's, that's really good, like Nomad, IQ, Maverick, Buck, Sledge, Sophia, Hibana, Thatcher, all pretty good positions. Probably won't have much in the way of changes, so really good for them. And the worst attackers we have is Fuse, Ying, Capital, and Blitz. Kind of surprised to see Blitz so low there. And their pick rate's also horrible. Especially Fuse. Fuse is a good one, right? Because Fuse used to be really powerful. I remember taking him and absolutely destroying. And now he's just so low. He needs a little rework. Like, it needs to be safer to deploy that gadget. I'd love to do, like throw it on something rather than uh, have to place it like a charge. I'd like to be a little bit safer to do be awesome if I could repel, smash a window, throw the gadget through the window onto the floor, set it off while I'm still outside. I would love that. Yeah, but overall, quite interesting. We'll have to see, obviously, when they do release the patch notes, which could be any time now, and they'll give us a description of what they think of these numbers. 
And of course, my interpretation could be very much wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of these graphs? Is there any standouts that you want to see changed? Any buffs you want to see? And you know what operators surprised you? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.